Let us both discover the crypto iceberg together and ultimately why it feels like a 100x is impossible and how you can actually make that a reality. I know we hear it all the time across YouTube, oh, 100x this, 100x that, but I'm going to show you what it actually takes to have the knowledge, expertise, and ultimately make that become a reality right across the different levels of this, right from a 10x down to 100x. The ultimate thing is, period, at the end of the day, crypto is turning into a proper industry. And as we're seeing right now, it's very turbulent, okay? But when we emerge out of whatever the hell's happening right now, we're out of the washing machine. Guys, it is going to be next to impossible to 100x, even 50x, okay? So we really have to buckle down and actually start looking at how we can progress to the 100x level, which luckily for you, I'm going to be outlining today. Now, I get it, right? Some of you new to the space or the channel are probably thinking to yourselves, why should I trust this no BS crypto guy? What does he know that I don't know or anyone else knows? Well, I'm going to say, first of all, watch this video. Allow me to take you right from the top of the iceberg, right down to the bottom, and open your mind up to some of the things possibly that you didn't actually think of. And what I'm trying to get here is, I want you to find the level you're at. You might be at a 40x level, okay? That's not to say that you have the capabilities to 40x. That just means you can 40x. And what I try to say that is, you have the skills to fund the projects or to make that actually happen, okay? Now, keep in mind, this is all pretty much my journey thus far. Now, I'm not at the 100x level myself. I must be 100% transparent with you, and we'll see exactly why in just a second. But you really want to see what that next level is, what you should be doing to take that next step and ultimately get to the very, very bottom of the list. It's taken me now, I must admit to you guys, probably about one and a half years, but I've pretty much jumped from a 20X level to a 100X level, or actually an 80X level, okay? I've slowed down recently because I've been a lot more busy, but ultimately, you guys can do it. If you actually put the time in a couple hours per day, you can really extract a lot of value from the market, particularly before the next bull market. Let's get straight into the video. Now, as we progress in this video and head down the iceberg, you'll undoubtedly realize where you currently are in your crypto journey and hopefully note where you need to go or do to improve, okay? So let's start at the very top, right? Zero to 10X. Now, this is the P brain, okay? Crypto is easy, everyone can make money, no understanding of the crypto tech, basic economics, finance, or business. You're just nice, fresh, and new. Buys what he or she is told, okay? No time horizon for investing, doesn't see past a month, okay? Just looking for a quick buck. Now, keep in mind, I'm pretty much basing this all off my personal experiences and what I see in the comments and talking with a lot of people, okay? So we move to the YouTube side of things, right? Pretty much buy whatever YouTubers say, guilty in the past of that, majority rules, most people say it's a good project, it's chances are a good project, right? And uh, the, the truth of the matter is, right? I'm gonna say this from experience. A lot of the time, YouTube experts just know as much as you, or simply put, they're only one page ahead of you in terms of their own understandings. Be very careful of these people, guys. They come across confident because they have a camera and they can do a hundred different cuts and videos and, and take out the bad parts. I'm telling you right now, I'm saying this from proof of experience. Just keep in mind that these people are trying to obviously extract money from you or make this their job, okay? They need to be somewhat of a personality, all right? Now, coin market cap and coin get go. People like new to the space look at these things and go, price is the important part of this. What is the price? I'm going to buy. Lower market cap, the better, more returns. What even is circulating supply? Top performers, I want to buy. They get the FOMO feelings. Negative days, oh, I'm sad. I don't want to buy or I want to sell. This is bad. Green days, happy. I want to keep buying. Literally the 180, we should be thinking. Now look at meme coins is appealing, right? Look at Shiba's price. Oh my God, that's awesome. Look at the massive supply. Oh, it's so cheap. This is fantastic. If it only went to $1, how many times have we heard this? Or I just bought 50K coins for $10. No kidding, guys. I have friends that still tell me that sort of stuff. I just bought X amount of tokens for this low amount of money, okay? Now again, if this is you, if you're resonating with any of these particular points and I jump to the next one and you're like, I don't know what he's talking about, then you know which one you're in and what you need to really do to the next one, okay? Now, these people are still searching around the industry, watching YouTubers to shill, you know, shilling coins is their pretty much only form of research, doesn't know a thing about crypto or what a blockchain is or how it works, has no tie to the philosophies of crypto, i.e. decentralization. Just brand spanking you, just want to make some money, okay? Now, I say 0 to 10x here. What do I really mean by these multiples? Again, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make that return. These people most likely won't even get a 10x. Hell, these people might even get a 100x. It 
We don't really know, all right? That's a whole part of it. Like none of this is static, but this is generalizing, okay? Now the 20X people, right? We're starting to get some brain activity happening. These are the critical thinkers, right? They begin researching the cryptocurrency space, beginning to understand the principles of blockchain and tokenomics, right? The quality of a project is then determined by how much utility they have. I found this was a very pivotal point for me. I started thinking, and this actually isn't the right way to think, but the quality of the project is simply bound to how much utility it has. That seems right on the surface, and it kind of is, but not really. And again, I want to point out, this is actually the largest jump here, right? From here to here, if you're in this space, it is a large jump, but definitely worth it, okay? And they say, what really makes a quality project? Well, they refer to YouTube, right? YouTube videos are still consumed, except... Um, from more credible sources in this case. You're starting to understand a little bit more. You don't want the real shill boys in this case. Reliance on YouTubers for a second opinion is mandatory. You still need that opinion, that extra boost, but not the be all and end all, right? Now, this is good, I must admit, because it is that next step in learning. I'm not going to say if you're at that stage, it's bad, but definitely you don't want to be there for too long, okay? Now, the crypto, rather the coin market cap and coin gecko side of things, right? At this stage, they're more tools, a starting place of sorts, if you will, right? Now, price is a reflection of the market cap and circulating supply. You understand that it's just a reflection of specific metrics, okay? Now, market cap, you know, is the value of all the tokens in circulation, right, depicted by the market. Circulating supply, right, you look at that and you go, oh, dilution is worrying, okay? You see a project might have 50% of the tokens to be unlocked still, like, uh, I don't know, a reserve rights, for example, and that's a big red flag for you. You don't really look into it too much. Negative days, you're happy. Green days, should I take profits? You still feel a bit of FOMO, okay? But ultimately, you are changing your mindset. Again, just think about if this reflects with you, okay? Now, you're looking at these coins. This is a new little symbol we got here. So rather than looking into like Shiba and stuff, the altcoins you're looking at is more so hidden gems. You're on this hidden gems hype train, right? Now, the process, right? You begin trying to understand what goes into a good project, which is good. Now, there is a lot to search for, so you feel overwhelmed and you start with the basics. What are the investors, tokenomics? Now, this is fine but very superficial. As you begin falling down, going down the sort of iceberg, you begin to realize these things don't matter as much, particularly the investors at certain levels. Ultimately, you have no structure to what you're doing. You're just starting off, which is fine, which is fine. Now you start to see the bigger picture with your investments, right? You can explain the importance of decentralization and you do fall in love with the idea of self-sovereignty, okay? Terms like inflation and deflation start to make more sense. Ultimately, you're starting to get a little bit more um, into the space, right? You're starting to fall in love with the, the idea of cryptocurrency, but you're not quite there yet. You're not quite a crypto investor. I'd like to briefly interrupt and just say, if you are liking the video so far, if I am providing you value, to please take the time to just quickly like the video. And also, if you really do enjoy what I say and my content in general, please hit the subscribe button. I post a video every single day and there is two videos a day coming very soon. Thank you so much. Back to the video. As we go down now, we're going to the 40X run, okay? This is where we go underwater, all right? This is where things start to get a little bit more serious, but not too much of a jump from the previous place, okay? Now, fundamentals of crypto are unlocked. The autonomy of a blockchain is understood. You know how blocks are formed, transactions. What is a DLT, essentially, right? You know enough to explain crypto succinctly to friends and family, as well as comfortable with reading a new project's website for the first time. Again, you can open up a new website, for example, and go, okay, I can sort of understand this. It's not too much of a scary hassle at that point. You don't feel like you're guessing things, okay? Now, you're managing your portfolio based on your risk appetite. You're being smart at this point. You're not just buying willy-nilly. The only issue is you do think you've cracked the code. I know I was there. It's going to make a lot of sense when we talk about the next one, okay? Now, you still use YouTube, right? YouTube now becomes less about altcoins and more about keeping up to date with the current news surrounding the macro-specific crypto market. Now, you've pruned your list of crypto and influencers to the ones talking about your favorite projects or that are providing you extreme value. I hope I'm in that list. No stress if not, okay? Now, Twitter, right? So Twitter now becomes a far more used source of your daily crypto updates. Before it wasn't, now you're going to realize it's actually a powerful tool, right? The people here must condense their information to collate it into a thread or single tweet. So it has to just be value, value, value. And you begin, you know, finding communities and like-minded people sourcing news directly from the project or horse's mouth. Again, you want to find all the information. You don't want to get it secondhand from YouTube because YouTubers and people in general mistake information. They, you know, construe it. Uh, they, they make it sound better or worse than what it might be. You want to actually hear it from the project and kind of devise that for yourself. The whole point of what we're going to get to at the 100x level is you want to be completely self-sufficient. 
That is it. You don't have to rely on anyone else apart from very standard objective news reporting, okay? Coin market cap, coin gecko. The use of these two things now are primarily primarily rather finding new altcoins to research. You no longer have to take sort of the basic stats as a fact anymore and you try to source more stuff from the project itself. What do I mean by this? Well, you're not just looking at that sort of stuff going, oh, there's 50% of the tokens in circulation, 50% is diluted here, that's a bad thing. No, you wanna find out why because there might actually be a very good reason why, okay? You're diving into vesting schedules, you know, tokenomics, you know what the standard is for the utility tokens and distribution. You essentially know what the standards are. Okay, and that's a really big part of crypto investing, right? Or investing in any business company. You wanna find what its competitors are doing and if it can break through that, what its penetration actually is, okay? Now, the next thing, we're looking at coins, right? Your research, you're spending time to understand the project's competitors, as I was saying. Now, the process, right? You're now comfortable researching projects as you now have a very loose structure, right? You know that you have to look at the narratives, path to alt season, the waterfall sort of effect, you know, Bitcoin, large alts as it goes down. You're looking into these sort of structures, okay? Now, you've researched probably more than 20 projects at a sort of granular level, right? You're really getting into the nitty gritty at this point, but you still lack a clear process in your investment, you know? You're not going to a new project going, this is what I have to do, A, B, C, D, E, you're not ticking off at that point, you're just still kind of going through the motions and you're a bit scattered, okay? You're now convinced at this point that the industry is doing things for the better of the world. You can pretty much use dApps at second nature. You can jump onto any new platform and you just know exactly how to use it at this point. You know, Web3 is pretty much what you do online, okay? You know what you're doing, right? You decide to look deeper into a project on the basis of the team, technology, economics, and so on. You begin pretty much creating an investment process. Now, this is a 40X. Now, we're gonna get a little bit more serious now, and this is the second largest jump in understanding. From here, it's pretty much all small changes. And as I mentioned over here, you know, sometimes the difference between a 60X and 100X comes in the form of the projects you're invested in, not so much your understanding. So the next three parts aren't gonna be so much exactly what you should be, you should know at these levels. It can also come from the projects. As I said, there's always outliers, right? Now, sometimes it's better to take a lower ROI for a project you feel more comfortable buying, you know, than, what, than one that will keep you up at night, essentially, right? Conviction from research. The more you know, the more comfortable you feel, the less sleepless, not, sleepless nights you're gonna have, the more comfortable you are, okay? So you can look at my portfolio for an example, right? At the end of this video, I'll link you to that video I recently uploaded. I'm underwater with some of those projects, but ultimately, I'm expecting around a 60X peak for 2025 unless I can find cheaper prices to get in at the projects I'm finding, right? So keep in mind, I also invest for 2030 and beyond with the goals of more than 100X. So I'm talking the next bull market here, but ultimately guys, it all does depend on when you get in at the price as well, when you get into the project rather, okay? So 60X, you realize that somehow you actually know a lot less than you did before, even though you know a lot more than you ever have before, if that makes sense. So almost like the more you know, the less you know, ultimately, because you know how much there is extra to learn. Ignorance is bliss, if you will. Now, it's not just crypto anymore. You've also learned that it's economics and investing, right? This is well out of your wheelhouse at this point. That's at least the emotions you feel, but you're learning more than ever. You actually know the frameworks of things and you can begin easily absorbing new information because you already have a fundamental understanding of different things, okay? Now the tech seems a lot more complicated because you wanna develop a deeper understanding. Not always, this is just at least from my experience, okay? Not everyone has that sort of deep fascination with the technology itself. Now this time, YouTube and Twitter, right? They become second nature to you. You know what to watch and who to watch and you pretty much know who's talking BS, okay? Not no BS crypto, of course. <laughs> I had to just say that, of course. Now you've officially broken free from the hype boys and often find yourself rolling your eyes when they speak. We've got a few names like I mentioned there. I will not do it out of a fear of a lawsuit. You guys should hopefully know who I'm talking about. Now, this is where we introduced Telegram and Discord. You should hopefully already know what these two are and probably use them. But at this point, at least for me, this is when I began to open up a new research method, a quicker method, right? You can now use Discord and Telegram to join your favorite communities um, and you now decide to primarily use it to actually ask questions on the new projects you're researching, right? So you realize talking to the people hyper-focused within that particular project itself, you're gonna get better answers and you're gonna find more things out that you just simply couldn't find from being on the outside. Essentially, what happens here is you're feeling out what gets you to your decision on 
is this a good project or not the fastest, okay? And ultimately, talking to the people in the know is the best thing. But at this stage, you begin to realize it's a very, very good thing to leverage, okay? You just have to talk a little bit more to people, right? Now, the coins themselves are looking specifically into the business model itself. These aren't cryptocurrency specific anymore. These are businesses, right? And you've got to switch that lens in your mind. Now, you're now past just looking into the project economics. You now understand how they make their money and if it's sustainable in the long term. Can the token itself for that specific project absorb the demand in that particular narrative? If that sounds like gibberish to you, slow me down, re-listen to it. Ultimately, you might not be at this particular level yet, right? Now, the process, you're comfortable researching projects as you now have a structure and process. Again, A, B, D, C, E. You know, I think I just skipped a couple <laughs> letters in that case. You know, you're going for like the narratives first. You're just going wide, then dividing, right? Narratives, the particular technology, the team, and then the tokenomics and the, the defensibility. You've got a process, right? Now, the models. You're likely knowledgeable when it comes to models that you're used to breaking down the project. Like I said, the layer one flywheel, I always talk about this, okay? You're pretty much using external documents that you've learned from research that you can apply in a cryptocurrency, even if it's not from crypto specifically. Now your investments are now all for a reason. You don't invest in what you fully don't understand and believe in, and also you have a clear strategy, as I said before, right? You now understand more about the technology itself and you're familiar with the trilemma and how projects are trying to defeat it. You become more familiar with you know, crypto standards and standard issues like storage, for example, right? You're thinking critically and are quick to dismiss a project as a scam or not worthy very quickly. Scanning your coin is now super easy, okay? This is one thing that is super powerful. Ultimately, you wanna be able to quickly fire off whether a project's good or not, so you're not wasting your time ultimately, all right? And that comes with also looking into what's feasible and what's not feasible, okay? Not just within crypto, but the world as well, Web2 specifically, because projects disrupting Web2 industries are gonna benefit the most, at least in the long term. Now, here's the ADX, guys. We're getting quite serious now. And I'll be honest, this is kind of where I'm at, okay? I'm not at the 100X level yet. I am not fully developed. Don't clip that. All right, let's move into it, right? You now know a lot more about almost every single narrative in the industry. You have already discovered which potential narratives will perform well in the coming years and decade. You understand the macro global market is far more influential on crypto than crypto only news. You know the market is an echo chamber for fight and hype, both of which you ignore and follow your own research, okay? You've realized that crypto is more than just investing, so you're now growing uh, knowledge in charts and trading, which is the big thing that I actually don't really do as much right now, which I want to start developing when I have more time, okay? We now introduce a new form of news, okay? Or at least a new source, which is Medium. You don't use Twitter or rather YouTube other than to watch those on the same level of understanding as you, right? You don't want to watch someone talking about the new, you know, next shilling coins. You want to watch someone that really challenges your thoughts, which is only a very select amount of YouTubers, right? Twitter is almost an exclusively a news source at this stage, right? Like me, you might have a specific Twitter account just following all of the projects you're invested in, plus their, you know, next best third party sources. And you now adopt Medium slash the blog of your favorite projects as the best form of news you can possibly find. You check this daily alongside with the news aggregate websites. Again, there's a few websites. Um, today on chain is a perfect example. They aggregate all the different news websites and they just put it all in one place, okay? So you're pretty much every day checking your portfolio. You've rinsed and repeated all of the information that goes into finding new projects ultimately and you only are invested in the best of the best or at least dollar cost averaging. You know, we all have coins that are scattered throughout different wallets that we no longer buy, okay? Now, specifically for coins, right? You have a clear investment and exit strategy. The process, you've researched projects on a level most people just simply won't understand. They'll likely argue a point with you that makes no sense because you're so far beyond that. And things like defensibility of the protocol, memetics, narrative appeal, disruption, and so on make complete sense to you and you know it pretty well, okay? Now, models, you only dive into a project deeply if it meets your criteria, which by now, you know, but like the back of your hand, okay? Again, you're quick fire with this sort of stuff. Now, at this stage, again, you know that decentralization is multifaceted. It's more than just nodes in a network. Decentralization should be more than just uh, nodes, or uh, as I say, like particularly uh, geographical locations. It's a lot of things as well, consensus, so on and so forth. Now, you're researching the best security protocols, gaining a better understanding of cryptography in general. You start to uncover pretty much why certain projects moon and others don't. And you're now able to take educated guesses on the future price of a project based on current and future developments. Again, 
It seemed crazy to most people, but for those who know, they know, okay? Now, this is the 100x level, and hopefully by now, again, you guys, you're looking at this chart thinking to yourself, okay, I'm at 60x, I'm at a 0 to 10x, or I, you, might be down here at 100x. This is what I'm trying to get to, right? Ultimately, again, it doesn't mean you're guaranteed a 100x, it just means you're best prepared for it, right? As we can see here, you've, in, you've been enlightened, right? You're in the, the next dimension. Now, you're still learning, ultimately, because we always want to be learning, except you know exactly what you're doing on a daily basis. You don't muck around. You understand the projects you're investing in and the timeframes for the expected return on investment. Two years, I'm expecting a 10x. Five years, 100x. 10 years, 350x, whatever it might be. You've researched this. You know your projects better than 99.999% of people, okay? And this goes for all of your main projects, right? There's no energy wasted. You know what you're doing at all times. You're spending most of your time researching new investment methods, pulling in data from the equity markets and venture capital. You're not just looking crypto. You're looking into venture capital. You're buying books. You're looking into typical equity markets. You're taking standard methods and applying them to crypto, okay? And you're competent in mid-level understanding of crypto tech yet you're not at the lowest level because ultimately that's acceptable. The lowest possible level you can get at in crypto is pretty much reading the code itself, right? And that is extremely hard to do if you're not a developer or learning that sort of stuff. Now you're quite confident in charts and consistently use them for swing trades supported by the fundamentals. Ultimately, you don't just want to make money once every two years. You want to be swing trading based off news and updates. What do we utilize this for? Well, at this stage, you pretty much know enough that you might want to start your own channel or Twitter or essentially brand in general, okay? You can challenge leader in the influencer space on topics. And matter of fact, you can actually probably challenge some teams. I know I definitely have in the past some smaller teams have come to me and said, hey, Karen, can you review, do a review on your channel? And I've reviewed the project and sent them the script to say, hey, you know, I'm the BS crypto. This is what I'm talking about. Whether you like it or not, you know, uh, do you want me to post a video? And I've had two teams now say, well, okay, we didn't know this. We're going to go back. I, you know, take my word on that, if you will, but that's the truth. And at this point, Again, not saying that I hit the 100x level. Again, it's kind of some of these things are interchangeable here. Um, that's when you kind of know shit. Like, I, I know something. <laughs> I'm pretty well versed in the space, right? Now, you realize that macro worldwide news is far more important than crypto specific news. So you're subscribed to large trusted financial news outlets, Yahoo Finance, you know, an example right there. Ultimately, crypto is more than just cryptography. It's an entirely new industry that is designed to challenge or change rather most sectors of the world. You know which sectors will benefit from crypto tech and which won't. Ultimately, you know why investing in project A will actually have a really good effect into let's just say 2035 and people typically can't see that right you know exactly which narratives are more likely to grow in popularity faster than others you know gaming might be better in the in the long long term but also the shorter term it might have a gap in the middle you know you're looking at sort of like decentralized social platforms as well they might probably prosper in 2035 most people don't think that so on and so forth right you're simply refining your methods at this stage you have no issues sitting on cash as well waiting for the right moment to strike and this ultimately is what really makes the 100x level because again the difference between 60 to 100x typically comes again unless it's a complete fluke um, in terms of like when you invest it really does make a big difference and so you might be thinking to yourself right Okay, Karen, I'm at a 20x here, or I'm a halfway through a 20x. So I kind of know what I'm talking about. What's the next stage? Well, rewatch the video. Find that 40x level, what that next step is, what that you have to start doing ultimately to become that 40x. And like I say, you know, 10 to 100x, right? All that really is is markers at the end of the day. It's what you can kind of understand and what level of understanding you should have to really make that happen ultimately. And Obviously, I couldn't go over every single thing in this video. And that's why I bring you all the content I do on a daily basis at this point is because all of these things you can begin to learn over time. And you're going to obviously interchange. You might know, you might be at a 20x level and know some things at the 100x level. Again, none of this is specifically static, but more so to help you figure out, okay, this is where I'm currently at and this is where I really need to go. Now, ultimately, in my opinion, right, we're in a bear market. Bear markets for building, but we're not builders, we're learners. We should be building our portfolios or learning to build our portfolios and how to actually do that. We're investors. That's why we're in crypto, right? So this is what I think you guys should all go ahead and look at in terms of growing yourself, right? Building yourself. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts down below and how you think about these tiers and 
Really, I wanna know, where are you currently at? There's no shame in saying you're a zero to 10X. There's 100% all respect if you say you're at 100X level. Hat off to you, okay? With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you, and I can't wait to talk to you all soon. Take care.